Hi YouTube, this is New Mama Mia coming to you with week 5 post-op. Uh, I'm sorry this is a little late, I usually make my updates on Tuesday, um, but since I had a doctor's appointment, um, well, an appointment with the physician's assistant over at my surgeon's office today, I decided to make one big video instead of doing two back-to-back. Alright, so, um, here's the stats, because I know that's what you guys want to know. Last week I weighed in at 214.2, this week I weighed in at 210 pounds, point six which is a total loss of 3.6 pounds um, from last week to this week. Um, from day of surgery, I'm down 23.4 pounds, and from my highest weight of 256 back in January, I'm down 45.4 pounds. Um, so I am happy with that loss. Um, this week struggles um, eating slowly, eating with portion size um, in mind. Um, not everybody understands that eating is psychological as well, so it gets really difficult when you have to, like, explain to people why it's hard to, like, have a big plate of food in front of you and not want to eat the whole plate, even though you, you know, you know, cognitively that you can't eat all of it, but you want to try to eat all of it. Um, so that's been my main, my biggest struggle this week. Um, and that's tough because it's like psychologically I have to do so many things in order to not overeat. But whatever. Um, so I kind of went on a little mini haul. Um, I got a whole bunch, a whole slew of new supplements because I hated my supplements. And the thing about taking supplements is if you don't like them, you're not going to take them. As is evidenced by the fact that I went like three or four days without taking my vitamins or my calcium or anything. I had this liquid calcium by well less. Before surgery, it was okay. After surgery, uh-uh. It was gross. Um, so, my surgeon's office has like a little store and they sell Bariatric Advantage products. So, I got um, a month's supply of Bariatric Advantage, Advantage um, vitamins, iron, B12, and calcium. And I got to pick and choose which ones I wanted. So, it was pretty good. So the calcium I use, I like the lozenge, so I got this one, um, which is the wild cherry flavored with the D, um, 500 milligrams, take three of those, or take three of those, one, three times a day, um, and I think they're tasty, I prefer them over the chews, just because with the chews, I, it gets a really weird aftertaste, I, I actually really liked it, um, it's kind of like a, kind of like a sweet tart, I really liked it, um, so I haven't tried the iron yet. I'm going to try the iron, but it can't be worse than the iron that I'm taking now because um, that stuff's horrible. It makes me gag all the time. Now, this is only um, 29 milligrams. Um, my surgeon told me to, uh, yeah, they just want me to take like 60 milligrams, so I have to take two of these, um, one with the morning multivitamin, one with the night multivitamin. Um, so multivitamin, I'm taking the berry flavored one by Berry Chick Advantage. Um, haven't tried it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. And for the B12, this one is the black cherry flavor, and it has 16,667% of my daily value of B12. So, a lot of B12. I'm supposed to take that every day. And so, my lovely boyfriend, fiance, sorry, got me some lovely things. Um, they have these protein bars because I'm not getting in nearly enough protein. Um, so I got some samples which I'll show you in a sec, but I got these protein bars. And um, this one, I was going to start using that as a supplement to like in the morning for breakfast. Um, it has 160 calories, 5 grams of fat. It has 18 carbs, but 5 of them is um, dietary fiber and 15 grams of protein. So that's a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good ratio. Um, it also has um, some of the nutrients, um, you know, not a whole bunch, but something to add a little bit kick to it to give it a little bit more of a um, of a good kick to it. And this one's peppermint coca cocoa crunch, which I, it's kind of like a thin mint taste. I've actually had this one before; it's really really good. I just never bought them. And um, this one is marshmallow brownie crisp, the chocolate flavoring, and it's really good. I really like it. So I think in order to get some more protein into my diet, I'm going to like maybe do one of these for breakfast every once in a while. Um, so I'm going on a road trip 
But instead of stopping places and getting, because I only there are only a handful, like maybe two places I can stop, Chick Fil A or Wendy's, where I know what I can eat on the menu and exactly what's in it. So um, I got these, and I know you're thinking, oh gosh, no snack, but these are not that bad. This is 130 calories for one bag, 12 grams of protein, so that's a pretty good ratio. Four grams of fat. And of the carbs, um, it's 12 carbohydrates, but it does have dietary fiber in it. Um, there's zero cholesterol, and they're really, really light. So it gives you something to crunch on, and it's, um, it, it tastes really good. Like, it, it hits the spot. Um, so um, not exactly a meal replacement, but it is um, something to keep me from eating, like, whatever my fiance is going to be eating on the road. Um, you know, cause some people like to stop at McDonald's. I don't eat anything that starts with Mac. Not anymore. So, just saying. Um, so I got those. And I have a whole slew. Um, she gave me some, um, cranberry grape. Now I'm trying to, trying to find a new protein drink. This one's really good. I think the stats are really good on this one. I think it's like 160 calories and then like, 20 grams of protein, I think she said. I may have been mistaken on that. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'll have to double check it. Um, I can look online and find that one. But she gave me basically all the flavors of Variatric Advantage, uh, B12, vitamins, calcium. Um, she gave me flavors to try out, see how I like them. She gave me the, uh, the juice. I'm going to try the lemon one now, um, see if I like it. Um, she gave me um, another protein bar, which is pretty good. It's cinnamon, a cinnamon bar. So, um, mm. guys, that is like a Starburst. That is good. Not gonna lie. Um, are you fucking kidding me?